this is Rob Leo, and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the new Google Classroom from the student point of view, uh, responding to an assignment, and then we'll go back and look at the teacher point of view as far as grading. So uh, I'm here in the new version. Notice I got my stream page, my classwork page, my people page. If you watch part one of this video series, you saw me create or reuse a post from an old class. You saw me recreate uh, three questions on the classwork page categorized into topics. You saw how to reorder those topics, moving them up or moving them down. And what you didn't see is I created a, um, an assignment, a writing assignment. I attached a Google Doc to it, and then I made a copy for every student. So let's take a look at what the student would then see. Just pull up my student account. The student was invited on the, on the uh, people page, and I'm going to now join the class as a student. I invite, I only had one student, otherwise I would share the class code with the whole class. But this is what the student would now see. Um, I did not allow students to post in this class, so they can't make any posts to my stream. I am in charge of that, so there's no plus button here. If you notice, you can scroll up and down the screen. Uh, you also don't see any topics here, and I did not put any due dates. So you don't see, um, you don't see uh, uh, when stuff is due on a calendar. There's my about page, and there's my description. And there's the class materials that I copied and pasted from the previous uh, course. If we look at the class, oh, by the way, if you look at the people page, you just see who the teacher is. Um, there's no other student in this class other than one student, so there's really no list to look at because this student is already in it. Um, I would imagine you would see a list of co uh, fellow students if they were posted here. Uh, from the classwork page, notice you can view your work and you can kind of get a summary of what's been assigned, what's been returned with the grade, what's missing. You can filter those. Return with the grade, nothing. What's missing, nothing. There were no due dates. And go back to the main screen. Um, I'm not going to answer the introduction, transformation, reflection questions, but rather I'm going to do a uh, written assignment. And I just need to uh, open this up. I need to view the details. There's my assignment. I'm going to make a copy of it. I don't know why that came through twice. It's probably a mistake. Nonetheless, I'm going to open it up. And here's the writing activity. During the summer, I went on vacation with my whole family to And uh, let me just add, nope, I spelled Delaware wrong. Hold on one second here. Let me fix that. Let me just add, uh, it said to add any images, uh, links, videos, etc. I'm just going to add some stuff. I'm going to pause while I edit this document. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I added some photos. I'm going to make this super fancy. I'm just going to uh, insert a table and organize these. Let me just drag the picture in one cell, drag that picture in another cell, and drag the third picture in the third cell. Let me drag this over, and then I'm going to type some text in the boxes. Bear with me. I'll pause the video for now. Alrighty, so I just added some text. I want to format this a little bit. What I'm going to do is select that cell, right-click, and look at my table properties. I want to make this aligned in the middle of the page. I'll do the same thing for this one. Table properties, middle. And we'll do the same thing for this one. Once again, right-click, Table Properties, and Middle. While I'm here, what I'd also like to do is remove the border. So I just want to make it look like it's aligned without necessarily adding borders to it. So now it looks like I've got a neatly organized uh, collage of pictures and text. When I'm all set, I'm going to close the activity, or I could just simply turn it in. And I'm going to click turn it in. I don't know, again, I don't know why it made two attachments. Nonetheless, I'm going to turn it in anyway. And as a student, I could unsubmit if I choose to. Let's take a look and see what the teacher sees. So here we are back at the teacher page. I'm going to open up that assignment or I'm going to go to classwork. Again, it's not put under any topic. If I choose to, I could edit and then add a topic so it appears in one of these folders, if you will. I'm simply going to open it up. I can see one has been returned. I'm going to click on that and I can see who has returned it. Let's change this to a simple five point assignment. I'm going to change 100 to 5 and press enter and update. 
Notice the update is reflected here and I'm going to click on the documents. A new tab is going to open up and it's going to have my students work and it's going to have a comment bank on the right hand side. This is brand new. Um, you could either type your comments yourself or you could add new comments. Notice I'm in suggesting mode uh, as a teacher. I think you can change that. Where's my mouse going? You can change that back to editing mode if you choose to. But this comment bank is pretty cool. What I'm going to do here is just uh, add a comment to the comment bank. I'm just going to say this is a new comment. You can see I've already pre-populated my comment bank with some other stuff in another class, but they carry over on your account. So if you have uh, a list of comments that you typically find yourself using on student work, you could pre-populate it and it, it flows through all of your Google classes no matter what. You don't have to repopulate this every time. And uh, you could add comments to the bank. When you click on the dots, you could copy. And then what you'll do is you'll paste. So let's pretend I'm editing the student work. I want to make a comment. I can click the comment button. Again, I'm not sure what's going on with my mouse here. Let me just copy to clipboard. And again, when I select this, I'm going to um, insert a comment. And I can't see my whole menu, which is kind of annoying. But let's add a comment here. I'm going to paste it because it was already copied. And I'm going to click the comment button to complete the transaction there. Anyway, when you're all set, you can filter through each uh, each child's uh, work. If you wanted to give it a grade, let's close the comment bank. You could do your grading right here. And then if you wanted to, you could also add a private comment. You all have a nice sense of humor. And even though this is a demo I'm going to delete, I can't stand the misspelled words. I'm going to post that private comment. I'm going to return the work to my student. You can see it's not yet returned. Um, I'm going to return it to them. And again, I could go through each child's work. If there were more students in the class, I could go to the next document and the next document. And my comment bank and grading area stays on the screen. So hopefully you'll find this a little bit easier to, uh, to grade stuff. Let's go back to the teacher's class. I'm sorry, let's go back to the student's class so we can see what that looks like from the student point of view. Uh, it has been graded. Let's go back to the main page here. We'll go to classwork. We'll open up the assignments. We'll view it. It has been graded five out of five and the student could return it. If the student wants to add something after the fact, um, I forgot to attach a video, for example, you could upload something from your computer. Just for fun, I made a little video. Alrighty, I think I found it. I'm going to attach that file and upload it. And I'm going to resubmit now with the uh, video content that I just added. And I'm going to X out of one of these. I don't need both of those. Resubmit it. Oh, and uh, before I do that, if I want to see the comments, of course, I can open up the work. And I should be able to see the comments on the page, which I don't think I did successfully. But nonetheless, they should be there. Let's resubmit it and turn it in. Once again, we'll go back to the teacher screen. All right, it's been turned in. We'll go back to the teacher screen. And now the teacher should see under Nicholas's work, the video as well. And again, just like opening up a document, you could grade video content here as well. Of course, this has the writing activity and then the video activity, which also has the um, the uh, comments and so forth, uh, or the grade button and so forth. So you can't really comment on the video, but the teacher could nonetheless see it. They could play it directly here, or they could pop it out in its own window. Well, I hope you found this useful. Once again, big changes to Google Classroom. Hopefully, uh, they'll be for the better. And um, from the once again, from the student point of view, it'll be easier to find classwork. And from the teacher point of view, it'll be easier to organize your stuff into uh, folders. Thanks for listening, and I hope you found this useful.